happy new year and the first youtube video of this year is beautiful this is going to just take you about five to six minutes every morning it is a breath work exercise which is which you can do with your kids which is really simple, which will help you regulate your emotions, whether it's anger, sadness, frustration, feeling angry, any of that. And you can do it even when you're not feeling any of these emotions. Uh, and it brings up things which are subconscious and lets you let go of them in just a five to six minutes. It's called Six Healing Sounds. It's based on ancient Chinese medicine and Qigong. So let's get into it. Happy New Year and welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Koheli Bhattacharya. So today's video is going to be especially very special for this new year and it's based for your health, both your physical health, mental health, psychosomatic health. And that is the class on the six healing sounds. Now, what are these six healing sounds? Now, these six healing sounds are a type of Qigong practice, is a type of self-healing practice. It's a type of Shine Sang, is what it said, is a way of helping you vocalize your emotions and helping you untrap the emotions that are stuck in different organs of your body. Now, many of you will be thinking, oh, Dr. Kohli, you are an eye surgeon. How can you believe in this concept that your emotions are stuck in your organs? And some of you may actually say to me that, doctor, if I do all of this, if I do the six healing sounds, will my glasses number go? Will my uh, cancer uh, resolve? Will my uh, gallstones disappear? Will uh, Do I never have to take any medication for anything if I just do the six healing sounds? No, that is not what I'm saying, that your spectacles number will go away or uh, your astigmatism will correct or your myopia will resolve by doing the six healing sounds. But what it will do, I will tell you. So many of us have heard of this term called psychosomatic, meaning that something in your psychological makeup, something that you're going through psychologically affects you somatically. That means your heart starts to race. It could be that your palms start to sweat and these are very basic but for chronic time, if over time you have chronic illnesses, you obviously know that there are studies which say that chronic stress, chronic anxiety leads to um, MI, leads to heart problems, leads to strokes, leads to cholesterol problems and so much more, leads to hormone imbalances, right? So there is some science behind that. The other thing is, you might say, doctor, I have absolutely no diseases. I have absolutely no psychosomatic diseases. Then why should I do the six healing sounds? Now, this is especially very important for those who are doing my, you know, life coaching classes. Now, no matter what anything happens in the world, the way we respond and react to any stimulus in the world is because of our own psychological physiological state. So what is a psychological physiological state? Let me give you an example. Imagine you're walking down the street and someone smiles at you, but you are at that moment feeling a lot of anger, envy, jealousy. So anger, envy, jealousy is something which is in the liver, eyes and gallbladder. That's the place where we hold it. How would you respond to someone who's just smiling? You would think, why is that person smiling? Oh, they are having such a great day. Oh, their life is so great, right? But how do you respond to them smiling is because of your own psychological and emotional state. The same thing, if you are feeling very panic, if you're feeling a lot of fear and you see someone smiling, you might feel, oh my God, is this person trying to harm me? Do I need to go away from here? Is this person going to attack me? Is that why they are smiling, right? So all of this goes on in our head and the way we react or respond to human beings, the way we re react and respond to situations in our life is because of our physiological and emotional state. Now, having said that, that is why this six healing sounds is going to be really, really useful to you. If, first of all, if you are having a psychosomatic problem, if you are struggling with irritable bowel syndrome, if you have stressful situations in your life. The second is, if you are an ambitious person, 
anyone who has a lot of busy lifestyle, they definitely need to do this kind of mental psychosomatic check, right? So that is why it's very important to do these six healing sounds. Now, psychosomatic. So there are two ways that we can deal with these problems. One is top down. What do I mean by top down things? Things like journaling, things like writing, things like talk therapy, things like talking to a friend, things about letting like letting your emotions show. So all of that is top down therapies. But what today we are going to do is a bottom up therapy, which for me works much faster. In a bottom up therapy, you are actually working with your body and through sending the afferent nerve cells, uh, afferent signals back to your brain, you are actually changing your mind by changing your body and changing your physiological state. So that's how the six healing sounds work. So now let's go into the sounds. So there are six different sounds for each of the different emotions and organs of our body. Let's begin. The first is s. Now s sound is for the lung, skin and large intestine. And the emotions that we are trying to release are sadness and depression. The color to remember here is white or metals or metallic colors, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a deep breath in. Hold our breath and in that held breath, we are going to imagine accumulating all of our sadness and depression. And as we release it from the lung, imagine the sound, say the sound, right? And in the second breath, as we take in, imagine a white light entering and this time trust and openness enters your lung space, right? So breathe in, hold your breath. And imagine all the depression and sadness accumulating and then the sound. There are also ways that you're going to hold your hands and feet in certain mudras or certain postures. So for the posture of is you keep your hands like this, your eyes looking up. So. Now, moving on to the next sound. The sound is chew, 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 right? So for the chew, the organs are the kidneys, ear and the bladder and the emotions that it holds are fear, fright, right? So our kidney spaces are behind here. So you may want to just massage this area and again, breathe in. Hold all the fear and fright that you might be holding in your body, in your kidneys. Imagine that they are being held in your kidneys and then let it out, right? So, chew, 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 chew. And you can keep doing this. And the posture for this is either your palms on your kidneys or your palms on your knees, right? So that is chew, that is kidney, ear and bladder for fear and fright. Now, and once you've let it go, when you breathe in, breathe in gentleness and calmness. You really do not need to breathe in the opposite feeling that automatically arises within you. And you will see that happen, that lightness of being already happening within you. The next is the sound shh. The sound shh is for your liver, eyes and gallbladder. And this is for all the anger, frustration, jealousy and envy. Right? So all your anger, frustration, jealousy and envy is held in your liver space. And you might sometimes just uh, rub, rub your hands over your diaphragm and feel the tightness in this region. Right? So how do you do this? So you keep your left palm pull like pull your entire body so that you feel a stretch over this liver area and then take a deep breath and sound shh okay shh. 
and you can keep repeating it until you feel a letting go and you feel that your anger frustration levels are going down even if you're not feeling these emotions right now just repeating these six healing sounds every morning and every evening you will see that you come into a balance in within your body and you're able to calmly and very much more able to uh, you know regulate your nervous system as your day goes by so that was shh. the next sound is haw haw is for heart and small intestine and the emotions which we are holding are hate impatience cruelty and pride ego right our ego which keeps us away from people so it will the hate impatience cruelty and that loss of openness basically guardedness is what your heart space and your small intestine will hold so the sound is or okay so you're not really uh, it's not a very harsh sound it's a and the posture for that is again you're going to hold your left hand now and you're going to be pulling on the left side so that you have a stretch on this side and you can continue to repeat this if that is something that you're feeling stuck around right if those are the emotions that you're struggling with hate impatience cruelty pride ego getting in the way right now the last uh, the second last sound is who who is for the spleen stomach and pancreas and now it's over here it's on this side and you may see a uh, 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 a tightening on the side a tenderness on the side and the feelings that you're holding are anxiety and worry anxiety and worry is what we are holding in this area and once we uh, you know let it go you invite in trust and courage self trust self courage and confidence um so the sound is who right so uh, again we are going to be uh, taking in a deep breath who who so these were the different sounds and the last sound is he and now he is what we call a triple warmer or this is for the entire body cavity inside and this is also for balance so what do we mean by a triple heater or a triple warmer so uh, our feet would sometimes feel very cold and the center of our body might feel very hot and then your head might feel very hot or very cold and the entire body is not in contact with the other and doing a like a thermostat check so that everything comes into balance everything is in you know regulated everything is either warmed up or cooled down so there might be things that are heating up and things that are cooling down in your body and this way we can just bring ourselves back into a uh, homeostasis and balance and this is extremely beautiful to do uh, maybe at night before you're going to sleep and the sound for this is just he he So these were the different six healing sounds. Let's repeat. It's and you can just keep repeating these sounds without knowing the meaning behind them without knowing the organs involved in them and still get a lot of benefit but i hope with this video you understood a little bit of the uh, un the, the underlying uh, meaning behind these sounds right and so and why you would want to do it and how it could actually help you it could actually help you in not just calming yourself down but also heating yourself up building more courage building more openness building more vulnerability within you and i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you into the new year 2024 and have a beautiful healthy 2024